All right. Well, had an interesting dream last night. You know, you know how that goes. <clears throat> and uh, I just remember like holding an orange and looking at this nice looking orange and I knew it was organic. It was an organic orange for whatever reason. Like it had to be known it was organic. Like it's not just a regular orange, it's organic. Okay. And it was $10. $10 for one organic orange. That was the dream. <clears throat> so I'm like, well, reminds me of that time I went to Publix grocery store in the dream with Evelyn, my wife. And we were, she's like, well, let's get some steaks. I'm like, all right, it's been a while. Yeah, let's grab some steaks. And none of them had prices on them. Well, whatever, let's just see what they, you know, they'll ring them up at the counter while, as we're paying, as, which was weird, but that's what they were doing at the time, so we'll figure out how much it is. And they had like a a little bag or packet of steaks, and it's like, oh, you know, it's got a T-bone, it's got a center cut, it's got, you know, whatever, a few different types of steak. <clears throat> so we grab one of these bags or whatever, bring it up to the checkout, and... They were like, oh, we're having a hard, I, like, I don't know the price. We have to, we have to, the price, like basically the price was changing so frequently that they couldn't even put a sticker on it that day. Like they had to go right now, what's the price? Like, okay, it's this much. <clears throat> and it was like, it was expensive. But in the dream we were like, well, it's been a, like, it was a while since we had some steak. We need some steak. Let's just, let's just fork over the cash and buy these dumb things. And that was a that was kind of a while back a dream. So here I am now with the orange. A single orange was ten dollars. <throat> so what could make a single orange ten dollars? Well, the thing is, in our own country, and this goes for really any country, if you're you know, we're not exactly importing oranges for the most part, right? We've got oranges plenty <laughs> in our country. So if the dollar devalues, yeah, prices might go up in, in, you know, generally speaking, but I don't think an orange is going to go up to $10 just because our dollar got devalued or whatever, some financial prices. Now, if we were importing oranges from somewhere and that was like the main source of the oranges, yeah, I can see your dollar got devalued. Oh yeah, it's, it's going to go up in price. But we have the products here in our country. We have a lot of oranges here in America. So it's not, you know, if we do import those things, you know, it's probably a, a specialty type of an orange, you know, uh, or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, oh, some crow, so, some uh, crows, some vultures sitting on the side of a fence and the grass back there. They're not even eating anything. <clears throat> you know the j Snip 4 vulture omen. You know the j Snip 4 vulture omen. When I see a little pack of, it's not really a flock if they're sitting on the ground, is it? a little pack of vultures, it's usually like, oh, get ready. Because the vulture will pick his cheap crypto as they're dumping, you know, dying. The vulture wants the dead carcass of, of the crypto. <clears throat> so just as a little FYI, I'm going, uh, we're getting close to that April 8th date, you know, the, the uh, eclipse and all this stuff. And again, the whole Trump thing, the, the post, uh, plane crash, POTUS, JFK. April 8th, plane crash, 1999. So, again, I'm going, yeah, might be having some stuff here, <clears throat> you know, coming up. So, I mean, I don't know, you know, I just, it's hard to see how this is going to go with the crypto market right now. So, I'm instilling a couple of these little trades, you know, and uh, we'll see what happens for now. But, anyways, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, two more? Three more. They're eating some. Those ones are eating. Three more vultures. Again, that's I'm talking about it. The vulture omen may have me go, you know what? And if I sell my sheep right now, it's going to be for a little bit of a loss. Doge is very close to where I got in on that, recent, you know, not too long ago. Um, it'd be a little loss, but sheep would be more of a loss. Sheba. And I'm going, you know, ugh. It's like, there's there's their sign today, Mr. Snip. Okay. 
Anyways. Cliff High's Global Coastal Event. Again, he's he's come out. Uh, that are, It already happened. I misinterpreted it. It wasn't that big of a deal. Something I think he said. This was a while back. And I'm just like, even then, I'm like, I mean, I know it's your web bot. It's your shit. And I'm not supposed to be telling you, like, no to your own shit. But my whole being is saying we have not had the Global Coastal Event. It's still coming. And the global coastal event will be water washing across the global shores to some extent. Is it hundreds of feet? Is it an effing mile or two? I'd have to refer to Cliff on this if he ever if he got data on that kind of that kind of detail. But <clears throat> I do remember some data saying you know people were like freaking camping um, out by the beach, not camping necessarily, just out there making food boiling stuff, anything they can get their hands on, freaking seaweed and like just, you know, maybe bugs even, just whatever they can, they're making a damn stew out there trying to survive and I'm like, dang so, but again, if, the whole, if, if you had a global coastal event and most of the world's population live on the coast you know, within a mile or two, let's say and even right on the coast I mean, literally right on the coast then that's a significant amount of the population who might, you know, might get wiped out, so to speak. And that would be a global phenomenon, maybe worse in some coasts than others. Who knows? <clears throat> I'm sure some people would already be trying to flee once the news came out or whatever just happened to cause that. You know, and again, I had a dream I was leaving Miami, Florida in a hurry in an RV or a U-Haul truck or something. Because something like that just happened and I was trying to get away before the water got in. And I like by the skin of my teeth, I got out in time. I was like, oh my God. I like, I barely made it. Like I, I wow. And I got I had to take the side, like back roads home. Couldn't get on the interstate because it was just packed with people. And that's a problem here in Florida with only having two interstates on each coast. <clears throat> so I'm just reminding you, you know, I think this is going to be coming. And if that did come, how devastating to Florida, which we sell a lot of oranges, would that be to Florida? I know California has some oranges and things too, and there's maybe a couple other states for the most part, but as far as big producers, you know, Florida, California, um, yeah, there could be a big scarcity of oranges for a while. And therefore, an organic orange is gonna, could be 10 bucks. That's what I'm thinking of when I think about my dream. It didn't say any reason. It was just like, here's an orange, I'm holding an orange. I know it's organic. For however reason, just the information's there in the dream. It's organic, and it's ten dollars. You want that orange? You're paying ten bucks. <clears throat> so this might be one of those times or reminders where it's not a bad idea to stock up on some food, the kind of food that will last. So that would be canned goods, things of that nature. Uh, again, I've mentioned this before. You can go on Amazon and buy a big old stack of tuna fish and similar, you know, like a 24 pack, like, you know, and then buy multiples of them, ship right to your door, the price was right, like, okay, this is, I did this a long time back, like, yeah, man, okay, but again, you can get a 12 pack of soup, a 24 pack of soup, I think, uh, same thing, Amazon, or go to your Costco, go to your Sam's Club, you know, you might get a little more discount going in, in the store than, than relying on Amazon, but I, from what I remember, I thought when I did the tuna fish, I was like, man, this you know, the price is right. Like, okay, you know, let's, let me go and order it. Have it ship right to me. You know, it's less work. I have to do carry big stacks of freaking cans of, you know, stuff in my house or whatever. And if they have, you know, I know they've got some of the jabroni canned fruits, you know, in, you know, in its own syrup or water, or whatever. It's like, yeah, whatever. But I do think some of those do have orange in, in some of the mix or whatever, or you can get the little Mandarin ones. Um, because if there's gonna be a, an orange problem and you got a whole stack of cans of oranges or, or the, even the Mandarin type, <clears throat> you know, might be a part, might be a barter tool for you and your neighbors or, you know what I mean? Or you need some cash and you're like, man, I, you know, I need some money right now, but I got a crap ton of these things and I don't have any use for that many. And you just sell them, you know, you sell them to somebody who, you know, who wants them. Hell, you might even be able to go on eBay and put a freaking listing up, you know, two cases of these things, you know, thousand bucks. Whoa. Sold immediately. Buy it now. Done. Someone bought it. You know what I mean? 
<clears throat> because you know the rest of the country is not going to exactly be shut down just because of that right and again i've, I've full, uh, new york flooding multiple flooding dreams and uh at least two i should say specific flooding and it would be it would be known as a an event that was worse than 9-11 that's how it's going to be called that's what i got in the dream like that's just some piece of information i got so having said that <clears throat> i just figured out you know i got a dream it's interesting to hear this prices but if an orange is going to be that much and the stakes and i remember there was two of them in the bag of the stakes that dream i think it was two and they couldn't even get the price like they couldn't even get it and i'm like dang you know like oh geez you know so i think we like skipped those two maybe and got the rest of them i, I forget now i have to look at my dream book because i always write this stuff down so you know like it's you know the, the writing is i think on the wall i'm getting reminders now in the dream hey the food prices it's going to be a real thing it's going to skyrocket so if you can stock up on stuff now again canned goods soups the tuna fish stuff, you know what I mean? Like all that stuff. I remember, I have to just remember now, I had a dream. It was, I think it was after the steak dream. And I'm like, huh, I just had a dream that me and Evelyn were like, hey, yeah, let's go get some more bread. You know, like a loaf of bread. And like, get a whole freezer full of it. Strange, why the hell, what, who does that? You never think about that. <clears throat> so it's like, yeah, a whole freezer full of bread. Okay, well, you know, again, I'm being shown stuff in this dreams for a reason, man. And it's not just for me to keep to myself. You know, some private ones are, you know, I get. But most of the stuff that's like prophetic or whatever you want to call it, psychic, it's not like, oh, it's just for you. It's, you know, yeah, go ahead and share this, you know. So, you know, again, it might be that reminder. Time to stock up. If You, you know, if you've made some crypto money recently, whatever, uh, might need to unload a little bit of that cash <clears throat> to... Uh, stock up you know i don't know how long it's going to last but it's certainly going to have an issue that lasts and you know if you can you know like what we do don't have have crypto have cash have um silver and gold or whatever you're going to need them at different times okay that's true but food especially food that you can store now at today's prices instead of paying tomorrow's prices which could be absurd again ten dollars for one orange i'm going dude i got a, a, a lemon tree in our backyard that produces how much is a lemon gonna be you know at least people don't sit there and eat lemons but you know there's uses for lemons you know i'm when we get, getting a lemon selling business i got one tree and i make you know made a fortune on one tree of lemons you know that's not my idea of, <laughs> that's not what i wanted to do but you know anyways i just you need to think about this take care